We're asked to find the points which trisect the line segment with endpoints negative two comma negative two and six comma five, which I've already sketched on the coordinate plane. The two points that trisect the line segment would be the two points on the line segment where if we cut the line segment at those two points, it would create three shorter line segments all with the same length. So for example, one point might be approximately here. We'll call it P sub one. Another point might be approximately here. We will call it P sub two, where line segment A P sub one has the same length as line segment P sub one P sub two, which has the same length as line segment P sub two B. To determine the ordered pairs for P sub one and P sub two, we will first determine the change of x and change of y from point A to point B, and then because we want to trisect the line segment, we'll divide those changes by three, which will give us the change of x and change of y from point A to point P sub one, from point P sub one to point P sub two, and from point P sub two to point B. So we'll call the point on the left x sub one comma y sub one, and the point on the right x sub two comma y sub two. The change of x from point A to point B is x sub two minus x sub one, which is six minus negative two. Well, six minus negative two is equivalent to six plus two, which is equal to eight. The x coordinate increases by eight from point A to point B. So now we'll find delta y of the change of y, which is equal to y sub two minus y sub one, which is five minus negative two, which is equal to five plus two, which is seven. And now we'll find the change of x divided by three and the change of y divided by three. Well, the change of x divided by three is eight thirds. Eight thirds is equal to two and two thirds is a mixed number. Eight thirds is equal to six thirds plus two thirds and six thirds is two. The change of y divided by three is seven thirds which is equal to two and one third. So now to find point P sub one, because the change of x divided by three is eight thirds or two and two thirds, we add eight thirds or two and two thirds to the x coordinate of point A, which gives us negative two plus either eight thirds or two and two thirds, I'm gonna use eight thirds. And to find the y coordinate of point P sub one, because the change of y divided by three is seven thirds or two and one third, we add seven thirds or two and one third to the y coordinate of point A, which gives us negative two plus, let's use seven thirds. Let's go ahead and find these sums. Notice how here the common denominator is three as well as here. Here we have negative six thirds plus eight thirds, which is two thirds. And the y coordinate is negative six thirds plus seven thirds, which gives us one third. The ordered pair for P sub one, this point here, is two thirds comma one third. And now to find point P sub two, we begin with the ordered pairs for P sub one, and again add eight thirds or two and two thirds to the x coordinate, and seven thirds or two and one third to the y coordinate. So the x coordinate for P sub two is going to be the x coordinate of P sub one plus the change of x divided by three, which is eight thirds. The y coordinate is going to be one third, the y coordinate of P sub one, plus the change of y divided by three, which is seven thirds. And now determining the sums, for the x coordinate, two thirds plus eight thirds is 10 thirds. And the y coordinate is one third plus seven thirds, which is eight thirds. If you do want to plot these on the coordinate plane, it is helpful to have mixed numbers. 10 thirds is equal to three and one third and eight thirds is equal to two and two thirds. So let's go ahead and check this on the coordinate plane. The order pair for P sub one is two thirds comma one third, which looks about right. And the order pair for P sub two is three and one third comma two and two thirds, or for consistency, 10 thirds comma eight thirds, which also looks about right. I hope you found this helpful.